Right now, if you died, yeah, if you died, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah. When you die, when I die, we're all gonna die. That's a fact, right? Where do you think you're gonna end up? I know it's a scary fool, but what ends up happening is that's gonna motivate I do, us. I do think there's a heaven and hell. Okay, why? Based on what? Because there has to be something after. What's I agree. The What's the point of this if there's no after? Okay, so there must be something that's all powerful, intelligent, that's created us and is going to judge us and then is going to decide if we're going to go to heaven or hell, right? Yeah. What makes you say that? Where's your evidence for that? Make sense? It sounds nice, but we need kind of evidence, isn't it? I mean, it just depends what religion you follow, really. I don't really follow a specific religion by believing in a God or after that. <laughs> okay, but now what would make you feel like, okay, this religion is true? Because at the end of the day, your belief needs to come from somewhere. You need, you need to evidence it. You need to think that, okay, uh, what I believe is right because... So I mean, there's God. I agree with everything you're saying. Yeah, I agree with it. But I just want to know, like, I want to get the foundations correct. Out of all religions, mm. Islam is probably the most accurate one. Oh my gosh, bro. Spud me. I, I, I already like you. I already yeah. like you. Go on. I've researched that. I've done stuff the the signs of day of judgment coming up yeah yeah all of that islam's probably the most accurate one yeah so why don't why didn't you introduce yourself as a muslim as someone who submits to god because that's what muslim means someone who submits to god because well first of all my family's raised me christian orthodox christian mm. i'm half greek half albanian Mm. And I'm Orthodox Christian on my Albanian side as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. But that's it. That's the only reason, really. If I was to follow a religion, one day I would probably follow Islam. What about today? Today sounds like a good day. Nah, I'm not ready yet. Why not? I'm not ready yet. It's still got personal stuff. Need like to what? Because the thing is, look, at the end of the day, just, just to backtrack, just to address what you, the points you've made, right? If you think Islam is the truth, right and you've been brought up in a certain household right then why don't you follow your truth why don't you research your truth to verify that is the truth and bring it to your family members yeah so right now i agree with you islam is the truth yeah um, and there's good reasons to believe islam is the truth um, preservation of the quran the message of the quran the preservation of the actions and the statements of the Prophet peace be upon him, the Prophet Muhammad, um, the message that he came with, you know I mean all of these elements make me believe Quran is the truth, right? Um, how Islam describes God, Allah, um, the monotheistic element of it, um, how we've kept the message alive through the Quran and the Sunnah, and the Sunnah is the way of the shown by the Prophet peace be upon him. So I'm saying that look, if these elements kind of touch a core in you, right, and you think like, all right, Islam is the truth, and why don't you do your own independent research, look into it, and then introduce it to your family? What, 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 what's stopping you from delaying it? Because you said you've got some personal stuff happening, right? Is that personal stuff going to disappear or rectify itself without Islam, without God? And when I say Islam, I mean the true, perfect way given by God. I'm not too sure. I don't know. No, no, I don't know. You're entitled to your opinion, yeah, so I respect no, what you're saying. Go on. I'm really not too sure. So, okay, let me requalify that statement. Can, can there be any solution? What is the solution to all of our problems? Could I not say God is the solution? God can rectify all of our problems. God is all-powerful. God is all-knowing. Yeah? So if God is all-knowing, then why don't we get knowledge from God to help us resolve our problems or pray to God to resolve our problems is it is it not is it difficult for God to move away obstacles from your life difficulties from your life to guide you to make the right decisions I don't know this because it's like what happens is right there's a part of you who's quite intelligent quite sensitive quite in tune to the fact that look Islam makes sense it's the truth there's a God God's gonna judge us there's heaven and hell right and then 
There's another element which I feel is heavily influenced by the society. And then you're really indoctrinated by the society who's like, nah, I don't really need God. I'm going to get on with my stuff. And then when I'm finished with Netflix and chilling, I'm going to go and um, before, like a week before I die, <laughs> I read the book, um, pray to God, get my sins forgiven, go to heaven. Yeah. But <clears throat> is that what God wants from me right now? Can you guarantee me that um, in the next five minutes, me or you ain't going to die? No, you can't. You can't. So what have we prepared for it? Because you're like, oh yeah, heaven and hell. What do you need to do to enter heaven? You need to accept Allah and Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. Damn, that's a good answer. Yeah. You're wise, you're smart. You're smart. So if you know this, then why are you procrastinating on that? What's more important in your life? Yeah, with all due respect, I don't know what's happening, right? Um, the difficulties you're going through or eternal heaven and hell? Because one of my quotes is, right, is don't stress about anything you're not going to care about on Judgment Day. Yeah, so this life, what are you pr prioritizing? Go on, I'm asking you. Because yeah. I'm saying to you that, look, Allah created us for a reason. Let's connect with what that reason is. Let's find our purpose in life. Allah didn't say, oh, go to the mountains, disconnect with the world. Yeah, you're still, it's an act of worship to have a family, to earn halal money, to have a um, like business and be successful, right? In a worldly sense. But it doesn't mean that you lose track of the hereafter. Because this life, how long are you going to live for, bro? Nobody knows. Yeah? Um, average lifespan, 80 years, 100 years, 120 years. And the hereafter is all of eternity. So how does it make sense for you to prioritize? Because you're going to be judged on your life now. And your actions and your decisions now is going to dictate your hereafter. So how much priority are you going to give to this life over what's like 120 years max over the hereafter, which is eternity? I feel like it's just a bit of doubt. Of there you go. There you go. There is still doubt. That, that's the problem. And I agree, there is doubt. Yeah. Now, what are you doing to overcome that doubt? Because the way I look at it is, look, <coughs> Quran, perfect. Yeah. Allah, perfect. The message from Allah, perfect. Yeah? The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his lifestyle, perfect. How easy, um, Quran perfectly preserved, how easy is it to disprove any of my statements? To disprove something isn't perfect? That just depends on the point of view someone's looking at. Me personally, I'm talking about I your agree. point of view. I'm talking about your point of view. What, what do you need to affirm that the Quran has been perfectly preserved, that Allah is perfect, the I message is perfect, my, Islam is perfect. Own research, I think. Then why do it? I, I'm saying that look, if you find any mistakes in the Quran, reject it, leave it. Yeah? But man, like you ain't even got time just to open it, just to, just to read a few chapters, few pages a day. Does it make sense? Yeah. I'm saying if you fully commit and you read it, one chapter today, next chapter, half of the Quran today, finish it off, you'd be like, Shatizan, this makes sense. I want to become Muslim. I want to live my life through the guidance of God. But you're procrastinating, why? I really don't know. I don't know why. Yeah? Tell me, because your doubts will go. My point is, look, just read it in a cynical way. Be like, look, <clears throat> I want to find some flaws in it. Then I can live my hideous life. I don't need to believe in God. I need to believe in anything. Because the fact of the matter is, Islam, through your words, is the closest to the truth, did you say? Yeah. Yeah. If it's the closest to the truth, you're in a better position than most people. You don't even need to look into different religions. Yeah. If you disprove Islam, then you can reject everything and reject Islam. But I'm saying you're not going to have reason to do that. Yeah. But the only thing that's stopping you is your procrastination. 100%, I agree. Yeah. So I'm saying that why don't you affirm what you already believe and actually make a sincere intention to actually live your life 
through the guidance of Islam. Because at the moment, <sighs> go on. Personally, I'm starting to incorporate parts of Islam into my life slowly. So, like what? If you don't mind, Muscle. I used to smoke a lot. Yeah. We yeah. Used to drink a lot, and I stopped. Yeah. I stopped that. Also, I'm joining my friends fasting for Ramadan this year. Mm. Just slowly incorporate it into my life. And then what you're saying? Go on. When I want to make it official, I'll make it official. But what if you die in between then? Yeah. Because the reality of it is, right? Actions are nice. It makes us feel good. Like we're achieving something, we're doing something, right? But first and foremost, you ain't even touched on it. Belief in Allah. Yeah. Actions are secondary. Primary is belief in Allah. Yeah. Belief in the heart, testimony of the tongue, actions of the limbs. You've gone into, yeah, yeah I'm going to do the actions of the limb. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. I'm like, belief in the heart. And I'm saying that belief in the heart is going to increase when you read the perfect unchanged word of God. That belief in the heart is going to increase and you're going to have no doubt. I have no doubt. Bruv, I'm here every Saturday. I've been in this for many years. Well, I you have... wouldn't be doing this if you had that. Not even that. I've, I've put myself in a position where you get these Christian missionaries, you get these haters, you get these atheists. I'm having debates all day long, left, right and centre. Yeah? My man's gone on some anti-Islamophobic website and he thinks he's going to outsmart me. Come, oh, here's a mistake here, he says that. I'll go, brother, let's open it up, bring the Quran, let's see what you've got. And I'm smashing them. And that, that increases my faith because I'm like, look, I'm, I challenge anyone and I do, every, every, I do it every week, but I do it every day. Bring me the best argument you've got and no one's got anything which affirms Islam is the truth. Because why, why wouldn't you be able to find some sort of mistake or flaw? That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm welcoming you to actually read it, to open it, right? Because I don't want you to waste time and I feel like if you jump in now, you'd be a lot happier. The babies, with all due respect, I don't mean in, a, uh, in um, like a rude way, but the baby steps you've taken, has that made you happier? Has it improved your life? I mean, stopping drinking and smoking, that's... It's had its pros and cons. For example? So, pros, I don't socialise with my friends as much. Um, the negative crowd. More, but positive, I feel physically better. Because the thing is, in Islam, right, Islam hasn't prohibited anything, hasn't um, banned anything, made anything haram, which is good for you. Yeah? Things you want to do will give you short-term happiness, long-term unhappiness. Yeah? And long-term you're going to be happier, and you are happier, living healthier, um, like more focused, less bad influence, do you know what I mean? Now, I'm saying to you, right, <clears throat> Islam is based on five pillars. Do you know the five pillars? Zakat. I want to know that, my bro. You're good. You're doing good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Uh, You're like undercover Muslim, literally oh, undercover. Is it? No, it's not. Nah, 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 nah. I don't know the other two. All right. First and foremost is shahada, the belief. Shahada, yeah. yeah. Then it's praying five times a day. Yeah. Because you're talking about you've stopped smoking cannabis and X, Y, and Z, right? Um, drinking alcohol. You'll notice when you pray, first it's food for the soul. Secondly, it's going to improve you to maintain good habits. And it's going to keep you away from bad and haram stuff, right? Negative influences as well. Um, so praying, then it's giving zakat. It's a mandatory charity of 2.5% of your annual wealth. Sorry, no, no, go for it, my bro. Miss Cool, um, can I give you, have you got a Quran at home? Um, I use the online one. Yeah. Would you like a physical copy? It's free of charge. No, it's alright. I've got nowhere to put it right now, and I'm going to be out all day. Yeah. Alright, cool. But 100 I'm going to give you one leaflet of your choice out of these two. This one or this one. I'll take this one. Yeah. Thank you very much, man. What's your name, bro? Nicholas. Nicholas. Res one. You take nice care, Nicholas. Take care.